I went on the internet to search for the best Max apps that you can find right now and I found 12 of the most amazing free applications you can get on macOS that you probably you're not using. So let's jump into the video. Now we started with the first application which is called Velja. Now this one I have it over here. So what this is, this will make your Windows, your Windows, I'm sorry, your macOS open links with certain browsers that you have. For example, I can ask it to prompt, I can use Safari as my default, or I can customize it and make YouTube links to open with this browser, X link to open with this browser and stuff like that. While I normally do, I just keep it on prompt. So if I go on a link right now, let's go to X for example, or the easiest way, I would just go here in my notes because I have here. And if I click on one link here, for example, where I ticked Arian, how you can see it will ask me what application it will ask I want to open it. This link, you know, which is amazing because like this, it won't open it with Safari, it will just open with the app that you want. And to be fair, I really love it because it's the idea that, you know, uh, you, you get the extra feature how um, most of the website has, has most of the Windows, even Windows have this question. I love the idea that you will ask me every single time when I want to use it. Now, the second one is the Cheetah Browser that I just opened, which is Orion. Now, Orion does have some amazing things. Now, first of all, if you look closely, Orion looks like Safari. It's literally like a copy and paste of Safari, but it has some extra features. Now, for example, if I go on CNN.com, how you can see it will load the website. It's really fast and really amazing. But if I use Safari to go on CNN, how you can see I have all the ads and everything. Now, Orion, what it does, it have an ad blocker already built in. It will have a tracker blocker already built in, so nobody can track you. There's no more ads, and it has the ability to run, if you want to run extensions from Chrome, or if you want to run from Firefox, you can then install an extension from all the other browsers, and you can just run it here. It's an amazing application, and I have to admit, makes the job easier you know you can read an article stuff like there's no ads nothing and in my opinion i think it's one of the best browsers that you can buy you can download sorry right now it's free to use you get the link in the description for all of them so you know hope you will like it now the next one is called later now later it's a really good application and i have to see which one is this I, i'm sorry i have to close some of the application because some of them i have uh, i don't have too much space here for the icon, so that's why. So this is later. So what does later does? Let's say I open this, uh, this one, and I open Windows, right? So you, I have all of my applications here. You know, it's a mess, and now I have to like click, click, click to close them, right? But then if I want to open, then I have to go back on here, and then they will all come back and everything. So it's like extra step that I have to do, because you know, you have to close your applications. Now, the best thing, if I go to later, I just save this session and everything is gone, hello. And if everything is gone, now my desktop is clean. Now, if I want to restore all of them, all I have to do is just restore the session. And that's it, all of my applications are now reopened how it was before. And this is what later does it saves sessions for you to continue working you know if you want to break you don't have to close the two three ten applications that you have just use later it will close them not even close them it will minimize them you do have the option if you want to quick quit apps instead of hiding and then when you restore the session it will reopen the apps automatically for you so you can either close them or just hide them but this is later and now let's close it because i'm running out of space here so i can show you guys all the uh, apps that I want to show you. Now, the the next one is Hand Mirror, and this one is a very easy application that I really, really like. Now, what it does, when I press on it, all it does is that my camera, my webcam, will become, you know, here, just a simple pop-up here. And you can also, you know, do it and change how you want. So, for example, see, I'm recording with my iPhone. I can go to FaceTime, which it will be the camera from the uh, I'm sorry, for the MacBook, and then it will record with that one, but for some reason it doesn't, I think it doesn't change because I'm using the iPhone. So it doesn't change, but yeah, the idea is before you can go like in a, in a video call and stuff like this, then you have this ability here to see the camera, see how you look, you know, arrange yourself a little bit, and that's it. It's a simple application, all it does is just literally showing you a preview of the video, that's it. Now, the next one is Cycle, and this one is really, really good. Now, what this is, and it's literally open, because I do keep this one open. 
this one, it will lock my screen, how you can see. Here is locking my screen. The idea with this one is once you toggle cycle, it will lock your screen. You know, it will look like everything is locked. But the moment I close the laptop, then it will appear to make an alarm noise. Just in case somebody is trying to steal your laptop and stuff like this, they won't be able to because their laptop will start running, well, yelling like an alarm. So it's a way of security in case, you know, you're at a cafe and you need to go to the toilet and you want to take your laptop with you, which is understandable. Then you can just leave it there. And if somebody is trying to steal your laptop, then the alarm will start going on. And then, you know, people will look around. So hopefully the guy will uh, back up. But it's an idea. You can also connect it to your mobile phone and you get also a notification on your mobile phone. I didn't. I just stayed with the normal if somebody closed the laptop and stuff like this or touched the laptop, then the alarm will go on. Now, the next one is PDF gear. Now, PDF gear, I really love this tool. And the idea is, you know what? You When you want to edit a PDF file, normally everybody uses Adobe, right? But that one you have to pay. This one, it's everything included and it's every single thing free. So I use it to sign my documents in a PDF to modify a PDF, to convert a PDF, you know, I mean, it has option to convert a PDF to a PNG, for example. If I can find it, convert PDF to JPEG, PDF to, P to PNG. So it has a lot of option and it's free. It's an amazing application. So you can use a day to day. You don't have to pay for nothing. And like this, if you just need a PDF application just to make a signature or edit something on a PDF, you don't have to pay Adobe for that one. This application is perfect and it's free. Now, the next one is, I don't even know how to pronounce this, so I'm not going to, to try it. Now, what this is, you when you have a folder, right, and you want to rename the entire folder, for example, this is the perfect application to do it. So this one, if you go here, you have re uh, replace, insert, prefix, suffix, set, numbering, trip, conversion, regular expression, and select. Now, normally what I do, I just add numbers, for example. That's the basic things that I do. And you just select the item. So you just drag and drop here the entire folder and whatever you have. And then you have from start and offset. And here you have an idea how you will look. So how you can see, you will have one and boom. You can add, so it will be zero one. You can add, so you will have three numbers. You can just add and do like this. And then once you click rename, depending how many things you have here, it will rename the entire thing. Now, if you go to replace, for example, I can replace IMG and replace it with name. Now, my entire pictures, everything that I have here will be replaced with name. You know, you can literally put the entire title. So replace ING0947. And then this one will replace it with it. But the idea is the number is kind of hard to replace because, you know, the number of the picture then when you make a picture it will appear different numbers so that one is not but you can give a name straight away or you can just add a conversion you can just add a number whatever you want it will do every single thing in one go it's easy to use and it's free now the next application is he a hiac converter and what this is it's when if you have an iPhone, for example, I have a picture here. If you have an iPhone, now they, they're not using the JPEG extension. They're using HEIC. -E now, it's really good to save storage, but it's not as well known. And I'll give an example. A couple of weeks ago, I went to print some pictures so I can make, you know, beautiful picture and put it on the wall with my family. And the computer, well, the company that I used, their computer couldn't read HEIC, so I had to convert every single thing. And this is what this thing does. Literally, you just drag and drop multiple pictures if you have. I, I'm just using that one. And how you can see now I have a JPEG. Same quality, same everything, but it's a JPEG. Easy to use, drag and drop. You don't have to deal with it. Now, the next one, actually, it's a even better application. So how you can see on both applications, if I go to get info, you can see all the information was made with the iPhone. You can see my GPS location. You can see all of this information. And a lot of people don't know, but the moment you put this online, this information will be available. So you post on Facebook, you post on top, every single thing will be available for other people to see. Now, what this application does is removing this information. So for example, all I have to do is just drag and drop. How you can see is doing everything. And that's it, it's telling me it's done. So now when I click on it and get info, for some reason it didn't. 
what is this so why is that oh, probably is here you go yeah probably that was a bug from mac os it was still loading up. so how you can see here all the information are gone i got the resolution and that's it you know rgb boom that's it but i don't have any information not the phone that it was made or the camera is made not my gps location nothing and it's 10 times you know it's safer it's, it's keeping your privacy safe this is what it does it's taking the information out of your pictures and you can put it online with no problems and this is what it does now the next one is boring notch and i have to admit i do really love this application now in the past i showed a lot of applications about the notch on the macbooks and every single one was paid this one is free of charge so i'll give an example once i put my mouse here if i wait a couple of seconds how you can see i have a heart here because no music is playing and i have my calendar but if i right click and the battery here if i right click i go to settings here you can change everything so for example my calendar here is green i can change it to red now it's red now appearance you can modify all of this information some of them are coming soon so for example this one is coming soon the application is not fully fully released yet custom visualization so you can add all kind of things here the media how it looks and stuff like that the battery if you want the battery indicator here yes or no you know it's amazing and you even have for example if i put some music but let me put the thing here and if i put some music here how you can see now in my notch i have music playing and then i can just control everything from here and that's it all i have to do is just put my mouse do it and once i remove my mouse it automatically when you put your mouse you have to wait a, a, a second kind of like this but if you don't want to wait you just click and it's instant and the best thing about this application is that it's free you know it's open source it's free you can get out on github and this is what it does it's a simple application that's literally just giving your notch some life and you have to admit the notch looks 10 times beautiful better now with all the music train stuff like that you also have airdrop and drop file so for example i have this picture i can just go here and now i can easily airdrop it or i can just drop it here and then when i need it i can just easily take it from here put it here but i don't need it so stop so this is what it does much better it's free application open source go and download it you your mac will, will look 10 times better in my opinion i really love this idea now the next one is dock door now this one it's a really simple application and i have to quit boring notch so i can open here now the west one is this one is really simple application now if you open if i open safari right and i will just go on youtube now i minimize safari now what is application you can change the setting this is just a default setting that i'm showing you if i put my mouse here right with mac os nothing would happen but then if i click this one and get simulate uh, a click for example right i will wait you will have to wait a little bit because it's uh, it's taking a little bit after you change your settings and how you can see now it's it's applying so how you can see i have a big window here for my youtube i just put it in the bar and then i just put my mouse it's like a windows application that is literally just giving you information on how the bar will look and stuff like this and then you can just click on it and then blah 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 and you can put it up so the idea is that you have that pop-up that you will windows have and then you can see what it's in the application that you have open without even opening the application so yeah now the last application that i want to show you guys here it's a one that i use day to day now i use my macbook a lot like really really a lot it edits my video it makes my recordings i use it non-stop and using it non-stop that means i have to charge it a lot now charging it a lot that means that the battery will go down and with time the battery will degrade now this is why i use i believe it, this one uh all dente i think this is called now this application does have some pro features remind me later it does have some pro features but i'm not using the pro features all i'm using is just the charging so how you can see when i click here i have a limit of 80 percent that means that my laptop will charge until 80 percent and then it will stop this will help me prevent battery life and make my laptop's battery longer life will give it a longer life than normal so yeah this is the 12 application that i'm using day to day on mac i love them and i can't live without them I hope you guys get some really good information about it and I will see you guys in the next one.